All right, folks, we are back for the second episode of Season 1 of Game Collectors. And you read the title today. We're going to be talking about Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the complete series of the games. And uh, it's going to be a good time. Obviously, there's the Summer Games and the Winter Games. I don't have all of them, sadly, because I don't have all the consoles they're on. Because I'm an aspiring game collector, is what we should probably call this series. I do have two of them, though. Both of them for the Wii. But that's where we get to the first one in the series. Mario and Sonic. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games in 2008. This was at Beijing. Was it? Yeah, Beijing 2008. And uh, it was up to four players. And I remember how fun this one because it was up to four players. It was a good game to play at parties. It was definitely if you're not into Mario Party. And also the ERSB rating random, which just says comic stinking mischief. But, um, this is a good game. This was released uh, only for the Wii. And, uh, it has a whole bunch of characters. It has a whole bunch of games. Not all of these games are going to return to the next ones. And, uh, but most of them uh, ended up doing pretty good. This is a good game. Um... I'll have to do tier list ranking all of them sometime, but uh, for now, that's uh, about it for that one. Yeah, this game is fun, and that's not just because it was the first game in the series, which uh, usually the first game in the series, usually, usually, in my opinion, tend to be one of the best. It has good graphics overall for, you know, 2008. And, uh, it's quite enjoyable. My copy at one point didn't work, and, uh, then it random, randomly started to work again, and then it randomly didn't work, and, and now it works again, again apparently. But th this is a very fun game. Also, oh, I gotta give a big shout, and all of the people that, uh, the game gameplay of this, of all of this stuff will be down in the description below. Alright, the next one was uh, Mario and Sonic at the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Games. Yeah, overall, this is, um, I gotta say, one of the best played it. I've played a ROM of it online, but it's seems like it's pretty good. What did I just say? I've played the game before as a ROM on online, but I've actually never played it on the console. This one's released for the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo Wii. First ever uh, Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games, Winter Olympic Games per se. So overall, overall I have can't really see anything because I haven't played it too much except again the online or um of the game. But um, I'm hoping to begin this one soon so I can put out the collection for the Wii. Uh, again, it was on Nintendo, Nintendo DS, so it was the first time you could play Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games on a handheld -hand system. So pretty good. Good graphics as well for uh, uh, 2010. Uh -huh. nine because the games usually release a year year earlier so yeah but overall this this is a good game game uh i've heard a lot of people like it so yeah all right back to games that i do have i do have this one this is mario and sonic at the 2012 london olympic games it was released in 2012 i mean excuse me 2011 and overall, this is a really good game. It was released for the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii. Uh, you could, per se, it was a launch title for the 3DS, which also released in the same year. Uh, I, I recently got this for my birthday, but it didn't come with the cover art, so that was kind of sad. But I'm really appreciative that I got this game. And it's really fun. The graphics are kind of a lot better than um, four years prior, back in 2007, when the original game was released. Uh, this is the second game released uh this was the second game I released of the summer olympic games series and it was the third and final game released for the wii so the wii got three games excuse me that's pretty good so again it was also on a handheld game so uh if you got a 3ds or a nintendo ds you can play both of those on the go or winter olympics and 2012 summer olympics 
All right, cutting back to the chase, we got the 2014 Olympic Games in, <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce this, Sochi? If I didn't pronounce that right, don't publicly embarrass me. But overall, this was the second Winter Olympics game and was released for the first time on the Wii U. It did not receive a handheld version, though, uh, for, the, for the 3DS, so uh, kind of surprising, then, but uh, since the past two, three games, second two games had had it uh it was kind of weird that it didn't come with one sure there's online rom online on un <clears throat> wow that was that was that was a mouthful that i could play but uh i think it's it's just looking from the gameplay i'm looking at right now um this is looks really good so the graphics are a lot better this was a 2013 book game i believe that was released so you know pretty good pretty good i also remember watching the winter robux game for this uh in real life, so pretty good. All right, folks. Next game was Mario Sonic of the two thousand and sixteen Rio. Did you did 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 you know? No? I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, 2016 Olympic Summer Games. This was a game released for the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS, so it was the second game released on the Nintendo 3DS. I can't find anything about why the last Winter Olympics game wasn't released for the 3DS at all. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, this was a pretty good game. Uh, I've actually, yes, I have played the ROM online for this game. Only the soccer, though, which you're watching the gameplay of right now. It's a little bit hard, but maybe that was just because I was playing it on computer. Anyways, it obviously look, it looks, the graphics are a lot better. 2015 is when this was released. So, so, overall, I'm suspecting a lot of people like it. it made a return to the handheld systems. And this was, was actually the last, last game released, released on the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii. So, the Nintendo 3DS got two and the Wii U. Excuse me, did I not say the Wii? The Wii U got two games and Nintendo 3DS got two games. So, overall, good. Alright, now you're probably thinking, alright, it's time for the first Nintendo Switch Mario Sonic of the Olympic Games game. Well, that's not how it turned out, because if you haven't known that the Winter Olympics 2018 did not come for a Mario Sonic game, it was the first and currently the only game that wasn't released since the start of the series, only of the Olympics that didn't have a game of but uh, it didn't because Ubisoft decided to be a jerk and said they owned all of the rights to the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. Which I mean was kind of success, I'm not gonna lie, but Ubisoft did own that, so Mario and Sonic did, weren't able to play the 2018 Winter Games. That's just how it goes sometimes. Alright, the Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Game Series returns with Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics, returning with the second straight Summer Olympic Games. Obviously, we actually weren't able to see them in 2020, but hopefully next year. But overall, I have played this ROM online before, and uh, it's it's pretty fun. The uh, only one I've played is the soccer ROM. But, I mean, overall, 2019 graphics, so, you know, you can probably expect a lot of characters in this game to pick from, so, overall, this is a very good game, I'm glad that the series got their return, so, basically, I think it's a good game, it was reached for the Nintendo Switch and <coughs> Arcade, I don't know quite what they mean by that, I think there must have been an arcade, but, uh, Oh, did I, is it going? Yeah, okay, it's going good, yeah, but, um, I mean, overall, a lot of people like this. If I do get a Nintendo Switch, because I don't have enough money right now, I will definitely invest in this game. Alright, the video is the next point. When will the next game be? I need to play more Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Well, folks, do I have some pretty probably exciting news for you? The next, there's expected, a really good expectation probably going to happen. Mario and Sonic at the 2022 Winter Olympics will be dropping next year in 2021. 
this is likely on a Nintendo Switch. But unless they release anything, and I doubt they will, though. So, if you have a Switch, which I probably will have a Switch by then, be a pretty good thing to invest in. But, overall, I hope you all enjoyed this video of me overviewing the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. If it was a little bit laggy, uh, I had a long day, so, might be it, I was a little bit tired, but I knew I needed to, to get out a, um, a video. Also, you may say you're copying Scott the Waz. I'm trying not to, totally, copy Scott the Waz, because I'm not as good as Scott the Waz. So I had to go look at series if he's already done something about this. I didn't, so I've always wanted him to do something about Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. So I said that maybe if I do this, it, you know, maybe he'd agree with him. But if he ever does, I will go back and put it down in the description because it's probably a lot better than this video right here. But until later... Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I'm your host, Isaac Idog, with Game Collectors, Season 1, Episode 2. I'll see ya later. Idog out.